they're, they're going to do their damnedest to sell us on the idea that this was a coincidence. That Tom Brady returns. <laughs> yeah. And 17 days later, Bruce Arians leaves. And Tom Brady apparently has no problem with it. That That's the most telling thing for me. That hit me last night. I texted you that. Yeah. Tom Brady comes back from retirement. His head coach leaves 17 days later, and there's not even a suggestion he's got the tiniest problem with that. Right. That tells you everything you need to know about last night's stunning news that Bruce Arians is stepping down, transitioning to a front office role, whatever you want to call it. Arians is out only 17 days after Brady is back, and they are going to bust their asses to sell to us the idea that it had nothing to do with Brady's return. It had nothing to do with any friction between Brady and Arians. And I'm just not buying it. And I think the way that it came out last night, kudos to Peter King. He was in, you know, he's respected. He and Sam Farmer both are handpicked by Bruce Arians to break this to the world. And then 10 minutes later, they announce it with all these statements and quotes. And there's never even a hint from anyone that Brady... You know, it's not even suggested, and I'm not. They're not even going to. They're not even going down that path, and I'm going to ignore. I lost them. All right, I wasn't sure what the heck happened there. Well, with Mike, like what where he was, and yeah, we're we'll we're going solo here until we get Mike back. But I, I think where Mike was going with that is that hey, Tampa's going to do their best job to put the toothpaste back in the tube, sell the bill of goods of, oh, hey, Tom Brady had nothing yep. to do with this. This was a move by Bruce Arians. Oh, there you are. Good. I was trying to kind of hey. finish your thought for you. So, so go ahead. Somebody man. in Tampa. Somebody in Tampa had their, they cut the line. Uh, had their hands Bru- on the cord. <laughs> cut the line. We don't want to hear this. And and look, I, I there's going to be enough – celebratory laudatory and we'll get to that Bruce Arians deserves a ton of credit for what he's done in the NFL definitely but but please don't try to tell us this is something other than it isn't I mean come on folks and this is one of the the reasons we're here to point out in moments like this what's really going on what's really going on is not coincidence what's going on here is Tom Brady's back and Bruce Arians is out and it's not a coincidence it's not a coincidence. No, no. Period. Yeah. Uh, and who would you choose? Put yourself in the shoes of the Glazers. Of course. Anybody out there, who would you choose? We got Tom Brady for another year. We got Bruce Arians for another year. Pick one. Right. <laughs> Pick one. One one fills your stadium and gets you six primetime games. The other one, you know, I, I, no one's coming to see Bruce Arians on the sideline. Everyone's coming to see Tom Brady on the field. And I think Arians understands that he gets it. And, sure, you know it was. T- and, but it's amazing though to think that Brady was able to get through twenty years with Bill Belichick, but only two years with Bruce Arians. It, That's amazing. It, it it is. It is. It's it is amazing. There's no question. I I mean again, there's so much to unpack here. You know, first off, I want to piggyback off of what you said early on. Right. I mean, the fact that. You know, no one out there is saying anything of the nature of like, oh, my gosh, this must be such a blow to Brady. He must be so mad. He came back and the head coach is leaving. You don't see anybody in the NFL reporting that. There's no, like, inklings of that. Like, oh, no, Brady. It's not like when Roger Adams left Rodgers, right? We all knew that. Oh, my gosh, he must be devastated, right? He was expecting that. Uh, this one... This rumor has been out there since the end of the season. I mean, to the, you know, week 14, week 15, you started to hear rumors of maybe there's a little issue with Arians and Brady and the game planning and things of that nature. Then you tie it together in the fact that you and I know, and a bunch of other people know this as well, that he tried to finagle his way down to Miami with Sean Payton. That's another inkling of, wait, hey, he's trying to get get away from the coach. I was led to believe in that conversation too. Bruce Arians was not even a, a, a part of those conversations. He was left out. They didn't even want to get him involved, the compensation, anything there. So there's been lots of warning signals. You and I have both been getting them. And come on. First off, Bruce Arians was at the Combine talking about bad business, and he's the coach of the football team. And then a month later, you know, and sandwiched in between is Brady coming back, and then uh, two weeks later, Arians is gone? Uh, I mean, it's pretty easy to line this up. I don't think this is – 
you know, rocket science. And it's not it's we're, it's not coincidental, everybody. This this happened for a reason. And at some point, Brady and his people had a conversation with Jason Light and Glazier and basically probably said, hey, I want to come back, but I got some stipulations we got to talk about here. And that's, you know, where we are now. At least that's the way I see it and putting together a few things that I do know behind the scenes. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.